The White House is defending the U.S. military mission in Libya against growing disapproval from Congress. Yesterday, the administration sent a report to Capitol Hill in response to questions about whether President Obama is in compliance with the War Powers Act. NPR's national political correspondent Mara Liasson reports the debate about Libya is exposing some unusual shifts on foreign policy among Republicans. The 40-page White House report was in response to a warning from House Speaker John Boehner that if the president didn't seek authorization for the Libya mission this week, he would be in violation of the War Powers Act. In the past, Boehner himself has questioned the law's constitutionality. In 1999, he said that the War Powers Act ties the hands of the commander-in-chief. This is a familiar pattern. Democrats talk about the War Powers Act when there's a Republican president, and Republicans find a new respect for the law when there's a Democrat in the White House.